Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. I have started this vlog numerous times and I've had to stop every single time due to just like baby interference is the best way to put it. <laughs> Elf in the room, the sound you're currently hearing is my pump. I am currently pumping because as you know, my life. So which is why you're only gonna be seeing my top part of my torso right now because I got some stuff attached to my boobies. Anyways, so like I was saying, I've started this vlog many times and to no avail. So we're gonna try to get it done today because <laughs> I kind of want to share with you guys a day in a life of like a stay at home, work from home mom. Today is April 19th, it is a Tuesday and I am exhausted. I'm currently sitting here in the living room doing some work on the iPad while I pump so that I'm not in the office all the time because yesterday I spent the entire day in the office just like editing campaigns and sending content through for approvals. It's been a busy week to say the least. We are finally catching up on just like busyness in general. I more or less took the last like three to four months slow, I would say. Um, I think on most people's terms, they probably would not categorize it as slow just because I'm a bit of a workaholic and I haven't taken like a full mat leave since we've had Harrison. November was hectic. Uh, beginning of December was also hectic because we were wrapping up all the campaigns that I had been contractually obligated to finish before Harrison arrived because he arrived a little bit early. And now things are slowly starting to ramp up for the year. I literally have like, I think, five campaigns, six campaigns to shoot in this week alone. I've already finished shooting like three or four of them. We have another like two-ish left, I think. Um, and then a lot of editing work, which is kind of like what I did yesterday. So I batch shoot and then I spend a few days editing just to like kind of get it all out of the way because I know if I go shoot and edit and shoot and edit, it's just my head's not in the right space. So yesterday was an edit day. The two days before were full shoot days. Today is going to be another edit day. I have a couple more campaign things to finish editing today. And then I'm going to edit some personal YouTube stuff just because, you know, got to keep up on here as well besides just doing campaign and paid work. Uh, so yeah, I'm currently sitting here answering some emails, pumping and making milk for the little guy. It is 10.30 a.m. in the morning. I want to start this earlier, but I was up till like five last night doing work. So yes, it's been a very late start to the morning because mom has not gotten much to sleep. I just wanted to come on here and do kind of like a day in life to share with you guys what life has been like since Harrison has joined. It's definitely a lot less time to ourselves and a lot more time with him now. Kobe has been very jealous and trying to get more time with us in general. He's just walked over and asked for a pet. Hey buddy! You just woke up from your nap under the couch. So the plan now is to finish pumping and then I'm gonna see if I have some time to go back to sleep for like an hour or two, just catch a little nap. Because Harrison's due for his first nap of the day. He just finished eating, we're gonna put him back down. Um, and usually his morning naps are the best. They're the longest, so we get the most amount of time to get work done, but like I said, because I'm currently sleep deprived, I think my priority today will be to get at least an hour or two in so that I can be properly functional for the rest of the day. But yeah, for now I'm gonna just do some work here at the dining table and then I think I need to take Kobe out because we didn't really walk him much yesterday since it was snowing. Sick joke that is that it snows in April, but we live in Canada. <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, babies on diapers? Oh, hello. I'm vlogging for the day. Hello. Hello. Okay, and say hi. Just finished his first feed of the day. Probably gonna go down for a nap in like 15, 20 minutes or so. Maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. An hour? No, it's man. He's been up since like nine. It's been an hour and a half already. He should be going down to sleep now. He's getting kisses from Kobe. That's why he's down that low. Ta. In a bit. Okay, so now that I'm done pumping, I can show you the rest of my body again. <laughs> I just didn't want to potentially risk any sort of like infraction on YouTube if you see an it or something when you're pumping. So yeah, we tried to play it safe. And now I can eat some breakfast, get back to doing some work on that iPad here. Harrison, apparently according to Peter, is down for a nap. He just sent me like the cutest photo. I don't know if you can see this, but like, okay, this is a really shitty photo because my phone is super bright, but he's currently napping. So we're going to, I don't know, should I just nap right now? Cause he's in the bedroom or get some work done. Cause I really need to get some work done. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, get some work done. And then I'll see what happens. We'll take a nap at some point in today though. Okay, baby is down. My work is done. I've eaten breakfast. It's 12 o'clock. I should have eaten lunch already, but yeah, I just had breakfast. I'm gonna take a nap and I will see you guys in a little bit.
Mm-hmm. Look at your ring. Look at your rings. Hello. Wow. Wow. Do you see yourself now? What? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? You're not crying anymore. Cause you get to look at the camera. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, no more camera for you. Are you gonna keep crying or are you done? Are you being good now? Are you just being chatty? Or are you being camera shy? Okay, you stay there. I'm gonna prep my lunch. Mmm, look at that food. Dun, 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 dun. Hey guys, I'm up. It is 5 p.m. in the afternoon. I especially went, spent like all afternoon sleeping and catching up since I slept at 5 a.m. last night and woke up at 9. Fed him and did some work till like 12 and then went back to sleep. So for the past five hours I've been sleeping. I'm up now. I just got some food to eat because I am starving. I'm probably going to try my best to sleep before midnight tonight. So I'll be up for the next like seven hours or so. Peter does have ball tonight anyway. So Harrison will be with me at home. We're chilling right now in the nursery. I know Peter has been recording some footage throughout the day to kind of like share with you guys what else has been going on. This is definitely, again, like, I don't know if I have to record this or if I'll just throw this one up because this is definitely not my, my usual day of a stay at home or work from home mom looks like. I just was so exhausted today. I just had to sleep. So I did that for the past like five hours or so. But we're chilling here right now. We like to spend a lot of time on our backs and tummies to give him lots of room and freedom to explore so that it can help him with his motor and development skills favorite is on a little mat here and to the gym but last time at our two month checkup the doctor was asking us how far along he was in regards to his tummy time we're like eh, i think we do like maybe 15 20 minutes of it every single day she didn't seem too impressed with his progress of his neck tone development so she told us to up it and we did and now harrison ends up spending almost like three hours a day on his back and tummy like not each like in total so maybe like an hour and a half on his tummy an hour and a half on his back and he really loves it on here. He just like likes to explore. Don't you? Are you having fun? You like to roll around, eh? He started learning how to roll a couple of, uh, like actually a month ago. So almost like a month and a half ago now. So he likes to roll from his back to his tummy. He really likes to grab things now. And he really likes to hold on to stuff. We originally had this mobile from our Love Every Gym like flip reverse so that it was black and white first because they really like high contrast images. And then we ended up flipping it because it was stretched down so far because he kept pulling it down that when we'd lie him underneath it he would instantly like touch it with his feet when he kicked and it's now facing on like the rainbow side and you can like sort of reach it and pull it down which as you can see it's like stretching a little bit so we might have to flip it again just to get him to kind of just like allow it to go back up and not snap or break the wood but this is kind of like our little play setup the gym is from love every the mat is also love every and we have these things that came with it too this is like a little high contrast ball that you can kick around i like it because you can actually take off a lot of these things and just like use them separately on their own Ooh, you're having fun aren't you we recently just reattached this like loud clacker it has like wood things on the edge and like a bell and he really loves to kick it and activate it these are all just like passive toys we're trying to raise him like a la Montessori style and teach him to be a little bit more independent. Oh, you're having fun talking, aren't you? These toys are really great because he has to like activate them. They're passive toys, so they don't move or kind of like shake or do anything on their own really. It's up to him to kind of like play with them and engage and develop his own play style. So that's what he does on the mat. We are also starting to get him to play with like textures. He like touches these tabs. Oh, he may roll on his own for you guys. He plays with these tabs here. Um, they're great and there's a bunch of like different components to this mat so these are like colors these have like different textures to them this has sound there's like a doggy squeak toy in here with crinkle paper and then that side has like a little hide and seek area where i can like push toys underneath one of the flaps and you have to find it and pull it out and that side we're not currently using it it has space for you to slide in like flashcards and mirrors for him to play with but yeah he just loves chilling on this mat playing with all of his toys and just hanging out in here and we kind of like leave him in here with the uv camera and watch him from afar off I need to get work done. He's pretty good at staying here on his own and just kind of like hangs out and we hear him cry then we come in and check up on him but he likes to play by himself in here. He's doing real good. You're doing real good aren't you baby? Yeah. I was making food outside. It's kind of like a late lunch early dinner. I heard him start crying so I've come in with my food. I'm just gonna watch him while I eat for a little bit and he plays on his own and then the goal is to get Kobe outside in the next like half hour or so so we can do a walk and kind of get some fresh air. I find that Harrison really does a lot better during the day if he has like a, like a little short walk and it tires him out and gets him like sleeping really well at night. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna eat for now and then I will head out with Peter and Kobe and Harrison.
Okay, you having fun on your walk, buddy? You enjoying the outdoors and exploring? Yeah. It is 10.30. I don't have a shirt on because I'm currently feeding Harrison. Peter's at basketball. He left around like 8.15. Harrison and I took a nap in bed and cuddled together. He woke up screaming for the past like 15 minutes. Really feeding him. It's the only way to get him to calm down before Peter comes home. So I start off with breastfeeding and then we'll see if I have time to get to the bottle before Peter gets home or Peter's just going to get home and then feed him directly. But essentially after the walk earlier outside, we just came back in, took another nap because I was exhausted. Um, did some work on my phone and then I woke up at him and then he decided to cuddle with me in bed before Peter went after basketball. So that's essentially it right now. I feel like this day has not been the best. I'm still gonna post it anyways because I'm just tired of refilming this stuff. So I'll just have to come back another time and do another day in the life vlog. I'm just feeding him right now and then we'll finish feeding him and then play with him for a little bit and then probably put him to sleep soon because it's getting quite late. You all done, baby? Hmm? Ready for your bottle? I think Dad's on his way home. Maybe we'll get Dad to feed you in a bit, okay? Dad is home. Oh. Hi. What's so, up? How was ball? It was okay. Did you have fun? It was alright. Did Andrew go? Nope. Oh, hello, baby. Baby <laughs> is waiting. He's doing big stretches for you. Hello. He just got fed. Took oh. 70 for me. Oh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Do you need a few minutes so you can, like, change and push hands or whatever? Nope. He's already uh, on my sweaty clothes. So that's just disgusting. That. Okay. We'll go for the baby. Toodaloo. Okay, bye. Tricked you. <laughs> okay, you weirdo. This is how I eat dinners now in bed. JK, we actually usually get a chance to eat dinners properly Ooh. outside. Uh -huh. Go feed the baby. So I'm just gonna finish eating this. We have potato wedges from when we made potatoes the other day with um, some chipotle aioli mayo mix. And uh, then. It's patatas bravas. Okay, this is not patatas bravas, but whatever. And it's then. Patatas bravas? From salmon patatas and peter meat. <laughs> it is not patatas bravas. Go patatas feed the bravas. baby. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating this, guys. I'm pumping again. Peter's trying to settle Harrison down, see if he'll actually sleep himself tonight. We're not sleep training, just getting him to learn how to fall asleep without us having to hold him all the time. Peace out, sucker. <laughs> Do you yeah, think it's, it's gonna work? Fun. Do you think it's gonna work? No, nah, man. <laughs> so why even bother trying? Harrison's eaten, so uh, now it's time for us to eat. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here. It's been a super long day. Harrison is now asleep. Um, I need to go and get some sleep. As you know, I did not get much sleep last night and I am trying to catch up on my sleep today. I apologize for this like super yellow lighting. I don't know what's going on. It's definitely not this yellow here where I am. I don't know why it's been like this. I'm gonna try to fix it in post. Hopefully you guys don't see yellow. Um, but yeah, thanks for following along on kind of like a day in the life of a stay at home, a work from home mom. I know I didn't do that much today besides just like show you footage of myself like pumping and doing some work and like playing with Harrison. Um, but I'm gonna try to come back and do another one of these, maybe like once a month or something. I'll share with you guys like a day in my life so you can kind of get like a rough idea of like what we do. And I can show you like different types of days. That was like a very low key, just mostly taking care of Harrison day. And it usually kind of just goes like that. Sleep, eat, feed, rinse, repeat. <laughs> so yes, I'm gonna go to bed now. Um, I'm exhausted, gonna get some sleep, catch up on the Z's. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Bye.